did with the uh turn it off. Alright, so we streamlined the startup process quite a bit and the out of the box experience. So when you turn this thing on, it's gonna walk you through a OBE wizard. Okay. Give you a chance to configure all your accounts and get everything set up and basically walk you through some some actual dialogues on how to actually get the phone set up. Okay. Pretty intuitive experience. Once you get all that stuff configured, you're pretty much off and running, right? It'll ask you for your Facebook account, your Windows Live account, your Outlook account if you have that, and basically have you get that out of the way up front. Okay. Right. We also streamlined the startup process. You see I hit the start button. It's going to go through a couple panes. It should start up pretty quick. About 30 seconds. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty, pretty yep. way faster than Very it used fast. to be. Very fast, yep. Um, yeah, you, it does support exchange policy, so I can't actually force a lock out to this device and force a pin on the device and also max pin reset and some other features. The uh, basic navigation is you're going to have a series of live tiles, right, and you also have a series of hubs. The hubs are standard. So they're always going to be the same across every device. You're going to have your people hub. You're going to have your office hub, which is kind of hidden down in the apps. Your Xbox Live hub, your Zoom marketplace, and your pictures. And those are pretty standard. I can at any time rearrange any of these tiles by just pressing and holding on it, drag it where I want it to go, and then just drop it there by tapping. Right? I can also take any app off of the app screen and add that as a pin it to the start as a tile. So I can have an infinite amount of tiles on, on there on start screen. So where's the where are all the apps? Every, so, like a list of everything. So basically you have two main panes on the on the phone. You have your live tiles and you have your apps. Okay. Right? So as I mentioned that and I can scroll through those apps based in linear format. It's something I, I can pin apps, people, web pages to my start. So I can hyperlink pretty much to anything. So if you've got someone, say your wife or one of your kids or somebody that you want to have on there, right. you can okay. I can pin that contact. Pin to start. Yep. So pin to start. I can throw my throw that onto the home screen. It's like it's already there. I can also go into a person. I don't know if we have any contacts here. And I can pin, pin to start. Pin to start. Also. Okay. okay. Now, my people, have, I mentioned about the integration with the, the different social networking accounts, Windows Live and Facebook, and it was default out of the box. When I go into my people hub, it's going to aggregate that information into my people hub. And it's going to allow me very quickly uh, cancel that prompt mm -hmm. me for a SIM import. It's going to allow me to very quickly scan through those people. All right. I can also either jump using the first character of a name, or I can use Bing okay. and search uh, very quickly to get through people. And that Bing integration, as I mentioned, is throughout the entire device. Yeah, so if you're if you're on a corporate network and you go to people, you hit the search functionality, you can then pull up anyone on the Exchange server. That's, yeah. that's how you yeah. get there. Yeah, you're going to get an Outlook directory option when yep. you go to search, and then uh, you can just click on that, it'll go ahead and scan the gal and look for uh, information. That I'm okay. For. So also my lab, my most important people are recent people. I can go into them. And Call Wendy. Yeah. Yeah, and hyperlinks all the information. And as I mentioned, if there's information in fate, any other social networks, we'll go ahead and pull that down. And I can jump over to Bing at any time and search for information. The same social network integration flows through to pictures, like I mentioned. And so the nice thing is I don't have to store all the albums on the phone. I can grab them from wherever. I go to all. I'll see my social networking. He's so putting pictures Facebook. from Facebook. Yep. Yeah. I'll click on that any time and it'll go out to Facebook real time. Grab those photos. The nice thing is, see how it's kind of grainy and then it comes down, pulls it down real time, and it's actually caching the rest of the photos in the background. So I can treat it like a regular photo album. I got pinch and zoom support. Yep. Pan. Pan. I can comment. And it'll go right out to Facebook. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that's an out of the box experience. That's how, with no applications installed on the phone at all, um, you're going to get that social network integration pretty much out of the box. So obviously, Netflix, Slack are a few examples of apps that have been installed to the device. Right. And right. we're going to support Netflix out of the box. You can download movies. Um, Store them on the device, and you can actually you know, view them on the device with your Netflix yep. account. Slack or radio. Yep. Uh, my favorite. A number of other apps. And also, there's Marketplace. 
to get whatever else you want. Yeah, get whatever you want. Else you, you said a thousand applications at launch? A thousand. Yeah, a thousand. We, we hit a thousand uh, last week. So out of the gate, you know, in comparison, we're probably doing about 20 times better than most yep. of the other app stores. Um, there's also the... Each one of the, the mobile operators and the OEMs will about be able to put the uh, or the manufacturers be able to put their own hubs. Uh, the nice thing is those are integrated in ROM, so certain features will be available. So there's the HTC hub. This is a replacement for what would have been HTC Sense. Yep. Right. So that's a lot of those little features right back into the HTC hub, and they can put that in ROM and ship it out with the device. Okay. Right. And each manufacturer will have the ability, so you see. It. Pretty much mm -hmm. pretty close to six, right? The AT and T integration. All right, that's the real deal. Okay. So that's AT and T U verse integrated into the phone. All right. So you can actually uh, with an AT and T U verse account. Uh, it's pretty sad and accessible. So if you're familiar with AT and T U verse, yeah, um, cable service, movie downloads, you mm -hmm. name it, that's all integrated into Windows Phone. Okay. All AT and T devices. You'll see it available across all the Windows phones. And if you're in market and you already have an AT and T account, um, you can do the full new device. And there's a lot of the AT and T integrated uh, applications. Mm -hmm. Still get your nav if you like and AT and T radio. Walking a line between business and personal, right? So one scenario is if I'm taking photos on my device, I might be taking something relevant to work. There's my camera roll. Anytime I take a photo here, it's going to automatically sync in the background of my SkyDrive. I can go back to it later. Any of my SkyDrive albums, as you can see here, are automatically brought down into my device. Now, they're not downloaded, which is really nice. If I scroll down here, I'm going to go to my son's uh, ring ceremony at West Point. Uh, it's going to tell me I can't update it because I've already pulled it down. However, because I pulled this off a of social network, I can download it off of Facebook, treat it like it's a photo on my device, and I can also comment. So there's a couple of apps on here, a couple of uh, uh, that are out on here by the phone. You have what's called the Office Hub. It is all of your office apps in one central location. You click on that Office Hub, you'll also see all your documents, all your recent documents that you've edited. Open it up and say, hey, can you check out the uh, floor plan for that particular location? I go, no problem. Let me go and take a look at it. Let's say I'm doing a site inspection in some type of place. Right? Now, what I can do save myself time because I have a microphone and a camera as I can get my voice up. I checked out the electrical connections and they were good. Right. We talked about picture being worth a thousand words, right? So now that photo is in my window. Now all I have to do is navigate away and it will save it to SharePoint or my live SkyDrive. If you don't have SharePoint, you can use this with your Windows Live SkyDrive. How much does a Zoom subscription cost? How much money have you spent on iTunes this year? $14.95, all the music you can get, you can consume. One subscription fee. There is my avatar. I don't know what he's doing there. He's kind of doing the little...